Oh, why do you think it's been over here? There's more light. More light on this side. The Marx Brothers, very much like Abbott and Costello, Lowell and Hardy, the Three Stooges, um, they are in the background of my uh, memory. I remember growing up with them, um, but it's kind of a, like a hazy fog. I, I know the references to them, and I, I know some of their movies, um, but the Marx Brothers, however, remained a weird mystery with me because I could always tell a reference to the brothers but I, I don't know their movies. Um, there was a skit on I Love Lucy where uh, Lucy did a mirror act with somebody else and I knew um, somehow magically that um, it was it had to been the Marx Brothers. It, it seemed like that to me very much like a uh, mash where um, Hawkeye would do the the Groucho persona um, stuff like that I, I mean I, I got it I knew the reference to so when uh, when I decided to do this little thing um, Grouch the Groucho but the Marx Brothers uh, it was it was new it was a new Bruno. Uh, sorry, that was I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Duck Soup was um, number one. Uh, I did a Google search and that popped up. So I, I what better reason to? Um, apparently, um, their their director uh, Leo uh, McCary is that his name? Whatever uh, was responsible for the Laurel and Hardy uh, pair up. And thank you, Leo, because um, I, rem I remember um, first thing uh, distinctive about the Laurel and Hardy was their Babes in Toyland, uh, March of the Wooden Soldiers, I think, and it was so weird, and, and, and the double act between this small skinny guy and this big fat dude, much like myself, um, the, with with such precision, physical precision, um, and and quick wit, they didn't have to say much. Um, a, a little eye twitch or a look or a, a, a body movement, it was, it was enough to send you reeling. Um, and to me, it seems very very uh, strong. Like it still has presence. Um, so hopefully, hopefully. Um, Duck soup will have you laughing in the aisles. I don't know. I don't know what that was about. Uh, I should edit that part out, uh, but I probably won't. Uh, so, right. So, uh, I trudged up some trivia from the Internet Movie Database. Hmm. Uh -huh. And shortly before this film premiered, the city of Fredonia, New York, complained about its name being used um, with the uh, additional E. Um, and I quote, and I quote, um, the Marx Brothers' response to it was, change the name of your town, it's hurting our picture. Yeah. Um, and you. So, uh, with that, I watch Duck Soup. We start off with a bunch of men asking Miss Tursdale for more money to help run the country. Miss Tursdale doesn't like the way the country is run, so she says that she'll only give more money if Rufus T. Firefly is in office. The uh, men say okay. Uh, Rufus T. is now the man of the hour. He, uh, very much like uh, like comedy movies go, uh, shakes the boundaries of, of the establishment. 
Um, no one likes it at first, but they put up with it because he's the supreme ruler. Uh, obviously, there is this one Mr. Tarantino, which um, is actually an ambassador from another country that's at odds with Fredonia. There's also another woman named uh, Vera, but you don't have to really worry about her. Uh, she kind of flutters off. Mr. Tarantino wants to find some dirt on Rufus T. Firefly, so he hires two private investigators, Pinko and Ciccolini. They, very much like a comedy movie will, um, they shake the foundations of the establishment just like Rufus himself. Mr. Tisdale catches wind of these war plans and he gets Pinko and Ciccolini to go steal them. In a botch heist, uh, war ensues. Fredonia is at war. Um, the Marx Brothers are causing mischief and mayhem. And uh, at the end of it all, Fredonia wins by trapping Mr. Tisdale until he surrenders. The end. I liked the film. Uh, Duck Soup was a really nice, nice uh, film. It, 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 there, there was no, um, there was no deep story. It was all slapstick, and that slapstick, all you needed was that. Everything else about the country, um, espionage, and war, didn't need any of that. All you needed was the Marx Brothers being the Marx Brothers. Um, this movie is classified as a musical, and I don't understand why, because there's only three songs in there. It weren't really particularly good in, 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 the, in the classical sense, but they were there. The light, the lighting in black and white films have always gotten me because there's there's a play with it, and um, this movie had very light shadows. I, there wasn't any tense scenes where not even the war scene had very heavy shadows. It was it was all light. It was very um, light shadows. Uh, you you saw everything, and it, it helped with the tone and and comedy of it. A lot of the background actors of that age were just that background. They weren't, they didn't bridge the gap to foreground and background. And when Rufus was doing his song and dance and trying to be funny, uh, they just turned, looked, turned back around and didn't do anything. They just... They were they were backgrounds. I mean, this man is is a leader of their country, and they're not even responding to him. Um, I know, I know that that that's ridiculous of, of me um, to to just spot out, but uh, it's those it's the small it's the little thing it's the little things that really make um, a movie pop out. Uh, with with something like this, I have to ask myself: Do I like this film? And yes. Also, would I watch it again? Yes, I would. Um, does it work still today? Um, not ri Well, it worked with me. I, I think it takes a special kind of sensitivity or a realization that you're gonna have to be patient. Uh, and it, it, it pays off. I mean, in the beginning, everybody is very... Um, who is this Rufus T? Why is he making such a big commotion? And then towards the end of the movie, it's just crazy war, slapstick, the end. And some movies don't need to have a, an underlying theme or a type of psychological, moral compass to it. Uh, something, a movie that's just made so you could laugh, so you could forget something. There, there, there's a bit of magic in that. Um, I like it. I'd watch it again. Uh, and if you like this video, uh, watch it again, please, or not. Uh, like, subscribe. I, I mean, you, you don't have to like, but that'd be cool if you did. Um, 
or subscribe. I mean, you, you can just hit that subscribe button and you, you'll see more of my uh, very horrible videos. Uh, I, I, I don't really care much if you go look for me at Facebook. I do have a Twitter, but I don't do anything with it. Uh, comment. Uh, why not? Um, that's all I have to say, really. Other than, uh, good night.